Okay guys, this beef, what can I tell you? The flavor is insane. And we're just using regular pantry ingredients. Here we go, we're gonna make Vietnamese shaking beef. So guys, this is not like just your average beef stir fry kind of thing. For me, this is like a really special dish. We're gonna use a really beautiful cut of beef. We're gonna be very careful about the way we layer the flavors and the result is amazing. All right, so let's do the beef first and we're gonna use beef eye fillet for this one. And we need to treat it with some respect because it is one of the more expensive cuts of beef. And what you want here is your beef in dainty little one bite pieces. So strips first, and then my little chunks. And now we're going to start off layering the flavor by creating a marinade. And I want a little bit of garlic first. Some fish sauce. And the thing with fish sauce is that it not only adds saltiness, which salt does, uh, but it also adds an umami flavor, which is that savory, meaty kind of flavor. And that's why it's a really good marinade ingredient. And then a really good dash of pepper here. So the main flavors we're kind of going for with this dish is salty, beefy, and peppery. And then I also want just a tiny little dash of salt. Give that a good mix. So that beef just needs about 20 minutes to really allow those flavors to develop. And in the meantime, let's do our stir fry sauce. And again, we've got really simple Asian pantry ingredients and yet the combination turned into something oh, so special. Uh, first of all, oyster sauce. Soy sauce and some dark soy sauce. Some fish sauce, some vinegar, and then a little dash of sugar. We've got quite a few salty ingredients here. I want to round out that flavor with some sweetness. Just give that a good mix. And there are a couple more things I want to do before I get sizzling in my wok. One of those is to prepare some spring onion. And with these, I'm going to slice up the white part first. And these guys are gonna get stir fried with my red onion. And then the dark green part, I'm gonna save those bits for the end. And then to get my serving plate ready, I want a nice little smattering of crispy watercress leaves. And then one final thing we need for our finished dish is a salt and pepper mix. So in Vietnam, typically with a lot of dishes, you would be served a little dish with some salt and pepper and some lime next to it. You squeeze it in and then whatever you're eating kind of gets dipped in there just before you go to eat it. And I love it. It's like this beautiful pop of peppery and tangy flavor. So we're gonna do that for our beef today. I need some salt, first of all and some pepper. Give that a good mix. And then we just save that for the end. And now we're ready to stir fry. And I have to say, the whole success of this dish hangs on your ability to control your fear. <laughs> about the heat that is. I need this wok so super ripping hot uh, and that's because I want to get a really beautiful sear on our gorgeous little bite-sized pieces of beef. Okay so my wok's kind of looking a little bit scary now with all of that smoke coming off it. Now I'm going to add in my oil. Make sure you swirl that around. Again wait for that heat and just before you think you might need to call the fire department now we get the beef in. Straight away you want to spread that beef out. I want as much beef coming into contact with that hot wok as possible. Okay, now just leave that beef to develop some beautiful color before you start messing with it. Okay, let's have a look now. I'm going to toss the beef through. Yep, that's some good looking color there. So now I want to add in my onions and the spring onion as well. And I'm gonna add my sauce straight in as well. And now I don't wanna leave this to stew for very long. This should all be happening really quickly. So just as that sauce starts to bubble again, I'm gonna add in a little bit of corn flour mixed with some water. 
and immediately you should start to see that sauce thicken up and get all glossy. And then a final pop of colour with my spring onion tops. Quick toss and that's it. And then this goes out onto our watercress. I just love that contrasting colour with the deep dark beef and the purple pink onions. Okay, now don't forget your pepper salt and a little wedge of lime as well. And there you have it guys, Vietnamese shaking beef. I love that this is like simple pantry ingredients and yet the flavour explosion is totally insane. Let's try it out and see. Take my beef and I want to squeeze that lime into this salt and pepper. Give it a little dunk. Mm. That beef is so tender. And that final little tang of lemon and pepper and salt. Unbelievable. So good guys. I can't wait for you to try this one. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one. And that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys. Boo